Thank you for tuning in today. Thank you for clicking on that thumbnail and spending some time with us here at the Pedal Picassos. This is the uh, Boss Phase Shifter. Now, I know this has been out for years and years and years. Now, I'll tell you a story. I've got some really cool recreations and really cool vintage phasers. Phaser is the only modulation I pretty much use at gigs, except for a little bit of chorus and one or two songs. But anyway, when, I'm doing, when we're doing all the funky stuff in the band, I use a phaser to get my funky sound. <laughs> I really, really like it. It's really, really flexible. Now, all my phasers are either like um, past effects pedals from uh, Verly at uh, Past Effects. Um, you know, they're handmade with love and they're very special with some really rare components in them and stuff. And you know, it's it's gigging is not always healthy for your gear. It, it gets knocked around in the car and people spill beer on it and stand on it or try to steal it. Um, so anyway, I've been on the hunt for a new phaser. I've been through sort of three or four of them, and this one is the one I have settled on, which is weird because I owned one years and years ago and sold it because I never used it. But um, I have bought it back again, uh, and here we go. So this is an incredibly flexible phaser. There is lots of different options, lots of different tricks up its sleeve, and some really cool sound effects as well today i'm going into uh, the laney amp behind me yeah it's i could have tucked that cord away made it a little bit uh nicer and neater but it sounds like this i've got a little bit of dirt here as well and i'm going to punch into the front of it as well i really love the boss overdrives all the time. i still love my blues driver a lot anyway this is not sponsored by Boss in any way, just for the record, I spent my own money on this. Now, uh, this has got a few different steps in it. I'm just gonna turn it down. So it's on four stage at the moment. Now this, to your ears, should sound like sort of really old vintage four stage phases. <laughs> Pretty sure all the older um, MXR and Dodd phases and all that sort of stuff, they were all four stage ones. These are the real vintage ones. Then we can step it up to eight phase as well. Now I've asked a few different people, uh, what is the difference between four stage, eight stage, 10 stage, 12 stage, how does it actually work? I haven't, didn't really get an answer that I understood, but it's pretty much just more phase. So, 10 stage. And 12 stage, which is the phasiest of all the phases. So this has speed, of course. Goes from very, very fast to incredibly slow. The depths go from here. To pretty much nothing. Which gives you that sort of weird comb filtering, almost like a cocked wire sort of sound. Especially if you bring the resonance all the way up, the feedback all the way up. Really cool for some lo fi sounds if that's what you're looking for. Now! It's a good time to talk about the feedback. The feedback did get explained to me. Uh, the feedback is where it takes the phase and it puts it back in through itself, which is a feedback loop, which is why they call it feedback. And in some phases, it might be called resonance. Um, and there was another term for it, which I can't remember off the top of my head, but it pretty much doubles up and triples up your uh, phase. And on some of the really vintage phases, one that I've got from Past Effects, this actually self-oscillates and makes a whistling sound, which is cool. 
This is really close to making the whistling sound, but Boss have got it tweaked, so it just doesn't quite get there. Oh, it's close. I think they call it chirping. It's almost chirping. Anyway, that's pretty cool. So at gigs, I run mine on about that eight phase there. My depth and my speed sort of out there. A little bit of resonance just to get that tweaky sound. So that's how I pretty much run my phaser. Now, because it's a boss pedal, it does have a couple of tricks up its sleeve. Just to make things a little more interesting, it has, I'm gonna crank everything up a little bit here, just so we can hear it. It has a couple of different modes on it. It has four, which makes it sound like the phaser is constantly going down instead of up and down. Then it has rise, which makes it sound like it's constantly going up. Both of them are really lovely, unique sort of effects that you could really find a use for, I reckon. Back to fall. Now I've got the feedback and everything cranked up a bit so you can sort of hear it more clearly. Sounds like it just starts at the bottom and goes to the top and then just cuts back to the bottom again. Yeah, that's really cool. I'll just put it back on the like the 10 phase here so you can hear the difference. It's a really interesting effect. And the last one, which is more like a sort of real special effect, is the step phaser, which is stepping through. Now this is where the expression pedal comes into it because the expression pedal can be used to control the rate of this thing. So it's in this step mode, it's the most obvious. Not moving at all. Up the top, it's moving incredibly fast. But you can hear it stepping through the LFO instead of just being a nice smooth wave, which is awesome. Which is super awesome. So anyway, control. You know, I'd use it like that to sort of accent a note or something like that. I think that's really cool. Set it up back again the way I have would have it at a gig. So that's where I'd have it a gig. Now I'm going to punch some dirt into the front of it just to see how it sounds. Turn it up a couple of steps.
You know I had to play lightning crashes at some stage. But anyway, copyright strike for me. This is the Boss Phase Shifter PH-3. It is an absolute beauty. It gives you a mountain of different phaser options, more than you could ever use. I'm gonna go plug it into one of the synthesizers and see how cool it sounds with that. But in the meantime, thank you for watching. If you've got this far, please uh, give a thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that sort of good stuff. We really appreciate it. Anything you do to help out the channel, um, it's very much appreciated. So um, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.